DJ Tunes, man. Izzy, what's up? It's crazy, man. If you go back and you see your history, you were <laughs> popping in these new NYC streets yeah, before the whole thing popped off with you and all these African artists. And I heard back in the day, DeVito used to come in New York to check your parties. Whiskey used to come and check your parties. Tell me about this blackout parties used to have. I heard it, it was doing more numbers than when artists would be having parties. Yeah, it was real crazy. Um, I throw events out in New York just to push the whole Afrobeat scene in terms of the music. We're not really being pushed like mainstream yet, so I just use my events to, you know, showcase the music and, you know what I mean, push out the Afro beats out there. Um, I have this big event called Blackout. It's, it's Black Friday weekend. Um, it's real crazy on Black Friday, so all black affairs. So it's something where I, something where I used to showcase the DJs and just push the music out there in terms of Afro beat. And, you know what I mean, the sound, the whole African sound, the movement is big right now. So I'm just happy to be a part of that. And speaking of Blackout, there was once this rumor that you were thinking of bringing a lion to Blackout. <laughs> Did that ever happen? Man, it's going to happen soon, man. Yeah. We got to bring the safari to life, you know? <laughs> Your WizKids official tour DJ. Yeah. How did that connection come in handy? How did it work? Um, you know what I mean? It's just pure spiritual vibes. We we linked up in Lagos. We had a, a quick meeting. He told me he wanted, to be a part, he wanted me to be a part of the team. And it was a lot of love from there. So from there, we just moved on. And it's it's been greatness, you know what I mean? I'm really proud to be a part of this movement and it's it's not just like um just africa it's like for the world you know gotcha. so to to link up with him was a big move you know gotcha. and rolling stone 2015 yeah the future was big yeah. your mom went nuts yeah. tell me i want to know word by word when your mom saw that what was that reaction man that was amazing yeah you got me man um to be honest you know my mom is like pure african so she was like you know uh, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't really know what it was but she was proud of me you know she was like you know she she saw that it went out to a lot of people and a lot of people read it so she was happy about that but she didn't really know much about yeah. Rolling Stone and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> now there's a festival in New York every year yeah. and in 2016 you missed it for the first time in eight years and you were yeah, devastated. Yeah, What's that festival yeah. called? And I know it meant a lot to you. Yeah, it was um, It was like, a, it's a Green October Fest, you know. Um, I had to be on tour with Wiz. I was in South Africa, so I couldn't make it to the parade. But it's happening this year, and I'm going to be a part of it. So it's going to be really dope, you know. And tell me about that time you mixed Lean with Fufu. <laughs> how, did, how did that taste? And that was insane. I never heard about that. How did that work? Uh, <laughs> that didn't work out for me, man. No? It was a bad night, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just forget about that. Yeah, yeah man. Only in the fufu. That don't really match, no, man. No. I would I would I would have put those two together. Maybe fufu and a little bit of, you know, spinach or F4 as we call it, or a little egg goosey, you know what I mean? But lean, you gotta keep that on the side. That's yeah. <laughs> that's a whole different that's thing. That. You're a New Yorker, you're a New York Knicks fan. Yeah. I see you constantly venting about the Knicks on Twitter and Instagram. You lost Melo. I don't want to tell you, man. It's going to be a tough year. Are you switching teams or what? Yo, I need like a towel for that one, man. It's <laughs> killing me how what the Knicks is doing, man. It's yeah. really killing me. And I hope that, man, I just want to win a chip, man. I know, I know. That's all. That's yeah. all we're trying to do. It's yeah. nothing more to it. Just and Phil just chip. messed it up. Phil, I can't really speak much of Phil because he came in while it was a mess anyway. Yeah. But, Dolan's fault. But Mo Melo's not there. Who are we looking at? Poor Zinga. Come on, man. KP, I just yeah. feel like we need more than that, you know. I might have to play for the Knicks, you know. I could Shit. I could strap up. I'm from Brooklyn. It's, yeah. it's the real deal. It's yeah. a serious thing. I'm serious. Got you. <laughs> and um, you fly a lot. Yeah. Now, tell me about this experience with Delta. You went on a flight one time, and Delta really messed up your day. And he said, Delta ain't trying to see you in. Talk, talk about that flight with Delta. <laughs> and what happened. That was pretty uh, messed up. Yeah, I just felt like um, they had delayed flights for mad long, and I had to be at a certain event at a certain time. So I had to book I had to book another flight outside of Delta, but you know, they they ain't trying to see me fly, so I had to fly with somebody else. You feel me? We stay flying. That's what we do. Pathetic. I mean, Izzy, that's what we do. We gotta fly they, regardless. They don't want to see us win. You feel um, me? <laughs> so you're from Brooklyn. Quick question: yeah. Any Millie Rock guys, GS9? You guys ever run into those guys back in the yeah, day? Yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Definitely. Bobby, GS9, free uh, those guys, please. Yeah. Um, who else is out there? Millie Rock family, yeah. two Millie, yeah, he's and be two Millie, yeah, dope yeah. guy, yeah. dope, yeah. dope, dope guy. And uh, we're gonna get to the bread and butter now, the photos. This is the yeah. part where you're gonna like. It's gonna blow you away. Okay. Stone Boy, show you out. I know you love this part. It hits yeah. you. Let's do it. <laughs> bim, bim, bim. I ain't mean like a nigga don't exist. <laughs> girl, you know you want this. Dick. Now, have you ever told a girl that? Man, while the lyrics were playing, while the music was, <laughs> I, 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 I see, I be seeing you doing that out there, man. 
Yeah. While the music is on, yeah, man. Just on some, you know. Yeah. Love. Yeah, love on, on a musical yeah. tip. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more. All right. Now the next this is one. crazy. Uber and Lagos. Yeah. Oh, hold on. So after done, you just stole the photo away. Eh? But just Yo. that's uh, Uber in Africa. Can you believe that? Yo. Tell me about that. I, I was going to believe it. I don't really like post on the gram. I was, I was impressed. Shocked. Like I was shocked. Yeah. You know, just like I called it. It was lit. You know, <laughs> people wow. came through. He picked me up. You know what I mean? And you know, in Africa, there's a lot of complaints or a lot of like rumors about sure. kidnaps and all yeah, of those yeah, things. Yeah. But you know, I thank God that everything was smooth with my Uber. So I had to just shout that out. Like, yo, big shout out to this guy for just taking. Did care you give him a five star? Yeah, of course, yeah, dope, dope. of course. Yeah. I know you're about the African love, and I know you're about. Uh, yeah. It's always love. It's always love for Africa. Got gotcha. you. Always. Man. Couple more photos to go. Yes, sir. This is really funny. Read this out, and then. <laughs> <laughs> It's blowing my mind when the DJ yells if you got $20 in your pocket. But your friend puts up. <laughs> well, let me start all over. When the DJ yells if you got $20 in your pocket, put your hands up. And your friend raises their hand and you pay them. For that it happens day. all the time. That just happened today. <laughs> you say it all the time? Do you actually say that on the mic? No, nah, man, I don't like to embarrass people too much, you know. It be like that sometimes, you know, but, uh, man, you see the face of the kids, it's like, whoa, homie, why are you doing that, you know? Yeah. But it's, it's, yeah, it is fucked up, but it's, it's cool, though, it's your friend, you know, but don't let it happen too many times. Well, that's so, just embarrassing. Yeah, it is, especially, like, <laughs> especially in the club, you know, after you just pay for him to get in, that's wow. Yo, yeah, homie, you? come on. Yeah. Why you doing that? I feel you. I feel Damn. You. All right, two more, it's man. Cool. It's cool. <laughs> now, this is the thing we were talking about, Meek Mill and the whole Nigeria thing. And yeah. you responded like, you know, 73 were killed in France, but there was millions killed in Nigeria in the massacre. Yeah. Man, you're all about Africa, you're all about that support. Yeah. You know, what can we do as a nation to get more support? You're obviously doing a great thing on the musical side, but more on the humanitarian side. What, what advice do you have? Man, honestly, we just need to come together. Like, that's the key for all of us to be one. For us to just bring every all our, you know, past, leave it to the past, but let's just bring it together and just focus on one love. That's why we're here, to love each other, nothing more, nothing less. You know, so much hatred going on in the world today, and a lot of it is not being shown in certain places. You know, I much respect to, you know, other areas that, you know, things are happening, but like, you know, in Africa, there's a lot of stuff that we don't know about. There's a lot of th stuff that we're uneducated about, and we just need to find out more. And I'm just letting people know, like, yo, Africa is out here. That's where we're all from. That's where this melanin is from. For sure. You feel me? So we just have to spread that to the world, you know? And honestly, I'm just using music as my platform and as my key to, you know, get people to listen and feel that that, that Afrobeat energy, that, that African vibe, so they know like, wow, this is home, this does feel natural, sure. this does feel organic. You know, I don't like to force anything with anybody or people, but we just need, you know, more light shed on Africa, you know, 54 countries over there, man. People think it's just one, <laughs> you know, so I just, you, I just want more for my people. That's sure. all. For our people, it's not only us, my brother, we're, it's all of us. we're together, yeah. you know, we're yeah. one. For so sure. that's what I preach out there, man. And then speaking of love, I'll tell you guys a quick story. Like, you man, I hit this guy up on Instagram. He said, hey, man, let's do it. It's all about supporting another. And a lot of people don't do that. They talk that talk. Yeah. But for you to walk that walk, I think is very important. And he even love. sets a precedent for myself where love. you want to do the same thing for other people. The end all, be all. Oh, man. Read this. Okay. There are two types of African kids. I'm African and my parents are African. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is deep, man. This is deep. This is like... You know, for people that were like born on this side, I know they were probably like scared to claim Africa. You know what I mean? Like being raised, you know, around everybody out here, African booty scratching, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. many names when I was coming up. Yeah. So you just have to be like, yeah, you know, I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, but you know, my parents is yeah, Nigerian yeah, yeah. though, but you yeah. know, I'm out here. Yeah. <laughs> You're at the front, but like, Nowadays, it's like I feel like everybody's just like, yo, I'm African, man. That's sure, that's me. You know, I'm I'm proud. This is where I'm from, and and I want to give I want to give kids and and people in the future, you know, our people for the future, future generations to always be proud of where they come from. Like that's big, man. You know, when I was growing up, it was tough, bro. In Brooklyn, mm. 
bunch of names, you know. My last name, I had to put my hand up before the teacher even called it, you know. It's like Michael, and, oh, I'm right here, you know. Yeah, yeah you know, I feel <laughs> It was serious. Me, man. So, you know, now I'm happy that people are more prideful in their names, they're more prideful in their walk, their culture, their clothing, their food. So, and I want to push that towards the future, man, just for kids to be proud of where they come from, it all from Africa, man. And it's one Africa, is one love to the world, you know. Oh no, oh no.